final. This will be an interesting game as well. Look forward to seeing the return of these two teams. Most importantly, Briars Rugby from Sydney as they take on the Delhi Hurricanes here at the Borneo Sevens, the world's greenest sevens. Follow them out, ladies and gentlemen. That'd be about as far as I'd be running too, and probably not even that quick. Super shots from our camera team. Production staff working overtime. Delhi Hurricanes in the multiple striped jersey and Briars Rugby wearing that famous gold. Well, he's a jersey that was designed by committee by the look of things, just quietly. Not that I'm one to criticise. I'm lucky to dress myself in the morning. So the Delhi Hurricanes in blue playing from right to left on your screen at the background there it sits the Eagles nest the VIP zone and the aircon and the coffee and the little slide of hamburgers mm. action stations we're off over the top of the high flying Karen Mundine they hoisted them high wide and handsome but it went even further than that and the Delhi Hurricanes with possession from the Briars 22. They go seeking some space on the far side of the paddock, right in front of the Eagles' nest. Opportunities there, slowly being snuffed out by the Briars. Hurricanes now. Chip and chase, a chip and case, Mundine. Finds a man on the inside and sets it up and away, and they won't catch this guy. He cannot be caught. Even from the halfway now, he's not even he's just feathering the throttle here. As it's one of those, can you catch me? You can't catch me. I'm too fast. And Mundine streaks one in. And it, well, it was just a, would you say a jog? I don't think I've ever seen a 12 second hundred jog. Five points become seven points as the Briars convert their own try. And off and into a scoring rhythm. Uh, Briars. Restart from Briars Rugby taken by the Hurricanes and they bring it up and into contact. Staunch defence. From the Briars, right off the kickoff, making things very difficult on the go forward for this Delhi Hurricanes. Inside. A little bit of stoppage. There might be something wrong with the balls. It's gone flat. Well, looks like they're going to have to retire that one. Well, that's how hot the action is here at the Borneo Sevens. The ball's gone flat. Four minutes remaining, opening half. 7 0 the score. If you've just joined us, welcome. One and all to the 2024 Borneo Sevens, the 19th tournament from the magnificent Eagles Rugby Club. It is, by definition, the world's greenest sevens. Emphasis being on the world's greenest sevens. Three and a half minutes remaining in this first half. That's not straight. So, scrum and restart. And for 
from long range. They can be a handful. They're a handful right across the park. Briars men's rugby. Maeki feeds the scrum. And off they go. Finding Mundine again, and he bears round and gets in a straight line. And look at that. It's just rhythm and flow for Briars Rugby. He is a sight to behold as he approaches Subsonic. Karen Mundine has the good sense of it, though, to lay off to Jerome Williams as the Briars bring up another try. Mark, eh? Mark. Ma'a, Ki, Converts, and the Briars lead 14 points still with two minutes remaining. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you've been watching this tournament since yesterday, you will know that this men's division is heading down to a full-on collision between the Borneo Eagles, Briars, and New Zealand Cavaliers. The sparks will fly when those three teams come into contact. As the Delhi Hurricanes get one punch to off, and that, unfortunately, has gone to Mundine. He's going to try this guy out in 25 metres, and he's skinned him. Don't you worry about that. And he's had enough. That's me. I'm done, boss. I'm going for a sit down and a cup of tea. Mundine scores. Maaki. Converts. The Briars lead 21 points to nil. And making this look rather pedestrian at the moment and that's because they are just that good sound as a pound is the expression so just about pick off the restart again Tui Tupou tripping over as opposite The Hurricanes here just need to have a little bit of composure on the ball. Stick to their structures. Some opportunities could open up. Hurricanes. It's a good ball in front. Geez, they've got done well here. Now they've stretched. A quick blow out there and to move the ball quickly again, but it's read beautifully by Briars. Comes off, I think that's Papa in 14. The kick pass sits up. Tui Tupou runs onto it. Tries on the outside marker and gets there. Super try to the Briars. They've constructed that literally out of nothing. The awareness by Ma'aki at the breakdown to swoop in and pick up the loose ball. Papa looked across field, saw the opportunity in space and behind, and Tui Tupou ran on to the kick pass. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Conversion attempt is from out wide. And an attempt is exactly what it was. As they go to the half-time break. Convincing lead at the moment for Briars Rugby. They breathe in the sun. And there's plenty of that at the world's greenest sevens. 26 points to nil. The half-time scores. Briars Rugby lead the Delhi Hurricanes. Let's break this half down with 
scoring highlights and there are some highlights as well. No greater highlight in the tournament than watching young Mr Mundine hit the jets and fly right by. There's his first try and if after the scintillating break down in front of the Eagles nest he lays it off for Williams to dot down try number two for Briars here's a replay of the troll <laughs> well I shouldn't laugh but it's just good to see it's entertaining it's exciting look at the skill here from Briars as Papa finds Tui Tupo and he does all the finishing necessary to keep the scoreboard ticking they're a good unit when they get rolling. And the boys are gold. They can really make things happen. But there's a chink in everyone's armour. And the Borneo Eagles found theirs last night. We'll see how they've slept and how they've recovered and how they've addressed the performance yesterday. Briars. See what they got out of bed feeling like today as the ball makes its way into touch. The second half has started. Toy to play. does well to partially evade the tackle, but will come back for the proper restart. As they say, you're always learning in the game. Would have been some subtleties that Briars were forced to be aware of from their performance against the Borneo Eagles last night. Papa holds it up in the middle. Now, that's possibly a bit lazy. They won't be happy with that. Dally Hurricanes. Finally on the ball. Papa. Look at this. advantage to the Delhi side so scrum restart with Delhi to feed <coughs> the Hurricanes the opportunity to get a bit of ball in hand here so the willingness to spread the ball Last time, I think they're just a little bit unsettled here by Bryce. And why wouldn't you be? Because there's some big sharks swimming around looking to bite you. And one just bit then. And to a fix So here he is, number nine. It's not like you can't see him. And running onto the target of his shoulders wouldn't actually be much fun at all. As Delhi Hurricanes now looking to find a way out of jail. Oh, the opportunity missed by Tui Tapo, and he knows it. He should have bent down to maybe probably pick that one up. They're feeling the pressure. They're feeling the squeeze from Bryce Rugby at the moment. Delhi Hurricanes come back to the top. Two to play. Well, the old that old chestnut, eh? The one two at the front. You could call it sleight of hand. You could call it trickery. Call it whatever you like. The referee will call it a try. Thirty-one points to nil. Briars over the Delhi Hurricanes at the moment. Well worked at the front. Fake pot out the back. Tui Tupo turns on a dime. Feeds the hooker. And Potalaka. Maaki. Scores a conversion from out wide. 
that'll be one to watch for the opposing teams today. If he's going to be start knocking them over from out wide, that could be a problem for other sides. It's a hard enough game to score a try, Simmons. Let alone give some bloke the opportunity to kick you out of the game as well. Hurricanes, they do well to find a bit of space on the Eagles near side of the ground up to their own 10 metre line. Well, they're showing a willingness to spread and that's commendable by the Hurricanes. Side was the call there, I think, from the referee. The Hurricanes keen to show the ball here, keen to play some running rugby. It's spilled out though, and Briars now will be looking to pick up a runner if he can. Pushes it wide. Here's the big fella now. Beats one, sneaks out of two, finds another big fella. Oh, get out of here! Just like that, the old one, too. The old one, two, three. Well, the bottom front rower, it's a thing, it's a thing of beauty. Seeing is believing, ladies and gentlemen. He got airborne. Well, it's some um, two of the last front row that managed to get himself more than six inches off the ground. But that man's a freak of nature. 40 points to nil. Well, there was some ceremony around that. Masterful stroke by the coach to bring on the entire front row of the Briars' first 15 and let them loose at the opposition. Restart goes deep. Minute 20 left in the game. Will we see, a rep Will we see them come again? Oh, dear. Someone can get really hurt if he falls on there. Just quietly. I'm actually quite concerned now for the health and benefits of the Delhi's Hurricanes team. It could get rather messy out there if someone falls under the rung bus. Hurricanes can't find any joy as they go wide. And the opportunity now for Briars in the closing minute of the game for the big men to strut their stuff up front. And there's plenty to strut by the look of things. I mean, talk about bounce for the ounce. Well, this would just be a lean. I think pushing would be unfair here. And more of a shrug, I guess. But Aki finds his way to the line as he sneaks up the interior. 45 points to nil. And to be fair, I think the Delhi Hurricanes are quite stunned. As Briars have let loose the war elephants. And that might have mentally ruined the Delhi Hurricanes. I know it would have concerned me. 45 points to nil with the kick to come. Potolaka. Mikey. Game over. That's full time. 45 points to nil. The score to be made final in just a few moments. And then we'll go through and review some of these scoring highlights. And there are some scoring highlights here as well. Just quietly. But a performance that they'll be happy with this morning. This team in gold. Briars Rugby of Sydney. A little bit of disappointment with their day yesterday. They've rebounded well. 45 0, they beat the Delhi Hurricanes in this quarter final at the Borneo Sevens, the world's greenest Sevens. Stand by for scoring highlights, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. So, over the top early on, and it really was the mundane show. Look at that. Four or five strides, and already he's uncatchable. If he decides to lay it down for the full length of the field, he might not be able to stop in time. Look at that. The kick pass from Papa to Tui Punto. And 
Could be Tupo's grounding there ended the first half and I don't have to say anything here, the pitch is so at all as okay. the big man goes diving over. Markey has been 